I discovered that I wanted to be an architect in the eighth grade. Well, did you enjoy drawing or building things or like, how did yes. you find the interest? So let me tell you, I it was a very inquisitive child. I would take things apart just to figure out really? how they work. But the men in my family are all carpenters. Really? I thought that they were interior designers because in my mind, they went into spaces that were already built and they made them better. I just saw that they were doing that and it just seemed really cool to me. We're in Indianapolis, Indiana, where you are going to meet Kiona Walker. She is an architect, but not just an architect. She's an inspiring teacher. She is taking her skills as an architect and inspiring the next generation and showing them how design, engineering, architecture, art, all of it comes together. I cannot wait for you to meet her. Follow me. My name is Kiana Walker. I am an architectural associate for meticulous design and architecture. I'm also the founder of Next Grade Architects. So Kiana, tell me about, I'm very excited to learn more mm -hmm. uh, because you're inspiring the next generation. So Next Grade Architects, mm -hmm. tell me more about this program and I think a uh, connection here a partnership with Ball State University as yes, well? Yes, uh -huh, absolutely. So Next Grade Architects is a teaching studio that introduces architecture to children from kindergarten through licensure. And right now we're working on a summer program with middle school and high school students and Ball State is providing us with the architecture students to kind of help mentor them through a project. They'll explore any career, hobby through architecture. How do you break through those barriers of exposing yeah. people to the opportunity? I think it's like, you know, you just work on the, the shifting their thought process in mind and, and maybe even exposure. One of the things that I try to do like with students is go with what they like or go with what they're already connected to. When they are passionate about something and then I bring in architecture, that makes it relatable for them yeah. and then they can experience it through their own creativity. Yeah, no, I love, the, I love everything you just said there. Yeah, <laughs> making it relatable, approachable. If teachers want us to focus on math because maybe children are having trouble with areas and perimeters, we give them a cool project and we're like, hey, we need you to design this house, but your competition is to see who can design the most cost-effective house. They're all on it because it's a competition. They're designing what they right, want, right. but it's fun. They're not thinking about it from a standpoint of, my teacher said I need to measure this line, measure this line, and multiply it together. That's a great example. Architect and really good teacher yeah. <laughs> is what I see in you. So Kiana, give us some context. This is a project that's upcoming, you're working on currently. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we located right now? So we're at uh, 2214 West Michigan Street. This is where we're gonna have the tiny urban escapes. Uh, it's like a boutique hotel. It's gonna have about four units and an intimate meeting space. Awesome. Yeah, out of shipping containers. That's the cool part. You're an artist because it's like I go to meet an artist and they're explaining to me about a blank canvas. Like, I'm gonna do this yeah. and this. And I'm like, and I didn't like... see it, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. okay, I got you. Like, I know it's gonna be amazing, but that's, I just love the idea of this boardwalk going through. It's just like it's hard to imagine too, because again, like this is this. It was in my mind, and so yes, I can I can talk about it, but I'll show you the rendering right, to right, kind of right, help. Yeah. So when we were walking, we were walking down here and we kind of stopped. We were actually right here. And so this is the 40 foot container. And then this is the boardwalk that you talked about. So the boardwalk oh, connects through all of these and then goes all the way through the site. To see it now, just seeing like an idea of what it might look like. It, it literally is two empty lots. You yes. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just beautifying, like just dropping something beautiful in the middle of the day. For <laughs> real, it looks cool. Thank you, I'm super excited about it. Architecture is such a collaborative profession. There's no way that yeah. anybody, any one person can do all of this by themselves. People don't realize good creativity happens with like lots of different hands. Everybody hates a group project, but at the end of the day, <laughs> that's how the magic happens. Like you're yeah. only as cool as I like to say, it's the people you surround yourself with. That's so. right. L literally, like the next grade architects will be collaborative. They will know how to work with other people. They will right. embrace that experience. Architecture touches everything. Oh man, it does. <laughs> yeah, it, does. it is. Like you said a minute ago, it's steam. It's yeah. like the definition of it. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're talking about like, what I love about it, engineering is similar, where you've got all these different engineers and architects who have to all come together, steam, to yeah. figure out, but it's gotta look good. And yeah. that's where that creativity and the Absolutely. way you plan it out. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm biased, I love it. 
for the next generation who's coming into thinking about being an architect in some capacity, like what, what's some advice that you would give them? Like what should they focus on? Yeah, so I get that question all the time about what subjects that they should take and most people think that they should take math, which yeah, that's, that's great that you take yeah. that. But one of the things I suggest is take art classes. Travel, pay attention to the things that you see. Public speaking is actually really big. And honestly, just work on trusting your own creativity. Understand that comparing yourself to other people like will literally rob you of what you already have. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is brilliant advice. Like, <laughs> we're gonna print that off. That is great <laughs> advice. I love it. Thank Man. you. Well, Kiana, I am so glad to spend some time with you. And like I said, you've given me a perspective on architecture I did not know um, as well, but now I do. And you are just doing such important work, Thank both you. as an architect and an inspiring <laughs> teacher, if you will. So keep <laughs> yeah. it up. I love it. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. This was great.